All right, all right, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to the Manchester United FIFA 21 Career Mode Series. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and also leave a massive like. Let's try and reach 300 likes for this first episode of the second season. This is going to be a big one. Uh, thanks to all you guys as well that watched the first season. Hopefully you did enjoy the first season. I would like to say there was a lot of ups. There was a few downs, but definitely more ups. A lot of a lot of positives. A lot of positives with that first season. So you guys know if you watched the series, we started before a few transfers were made. So Alex Tellers, he moved to Chelsea uh, before. Yeah, I could sign him uh, for multiple reasons. So yeah, we are gonna get these signings done now, or this one, of course, in Cavani. I think I will have to reiterate it again. He is still not going to be in my career mode, even if he was added, because it was like a squad update and this career was started already, because I still keep getting comments about him. Majority of people do understand, though, I won't be able to sign him in this career. But if you take a look, Alex, he's going to be costing, what, from 50 mil into 70? Can we get him around 60? That would be, you know, that would be fair. And you know we got a big budget for the season, almost like around 300 mil. So if you're just watching this, though, I just want to show you. You maybe didn't watch the last episode of the first season. So you can see there, pretty much 300 million. That's madness. So we're gonna put 55. I reckon we'll go 55 million. Not too bad. It, it is a bit strange, you know, negotiating with Chelsea for Tellers, but it's just the way it played out. Just the way it played out. So no no concerns. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, what? what, what? 31, Luke Shaw. Um, these just confuse me. No, Luke Shaw. Because I don't know what you guys, like, think if Luke Shaw is the best backup. It's good to have the... Not, like... I don't want to be playing Chelsea when they have Luke Shaw as well. That's... No. no. Please, no. <laughs> I don't want them to confuse things. Can we just propose a new fee? Go for a flat 60. That sounds like a good fee. You go, no, not Luke Shaw. In, I thought that's a perfect situation. Him and Luke Shaw rotating. That's class for me. All right, yeah, we're getting closer. We're getting closer to that deal. So, propose a new fee. How about we go 62 mil? So, yeah, it has to be a big fee here. But we've got a big transfer budget, so it's not really hurting it at all. All right, good. Yeah, that was a pretty good negotiation, I'd like to think. And just to show you his attributes as well, he's very well-rounded. Very well-rounded. I reckon he's, he's a difference. He's better than Luke Shaw. He'll show more threat down that left side. He could be a threat, like create a lot of goals, but then defensively so strong as well. He's got great passing for a fullback. He could be as good like as a left mid. So yeah, bombing down that left is going to be great. But let's go negotiate his contract now. So here we are. Good to see you both. Let's get into the agreement. We'll accept. Yeah, he definitely will be an important first team player. I can agree with that. Three years. Uh, three years on his contract. That's probably good at 28. But again, for someone his quality, I won't want to let him like run out his contract. I'd probably sell him at some point or just let him play out his career. Depends how he declines. So yeah, no release clause. We will we will accept that. Pretty happy. Three years, no release clause. Now the salary. Again, I prefer to them to approach us with the amount. We're going to go 110, which is below his current wage. Like, just see. 700k. Let's see. I'm not going to speak too much on it until, yeah, it plays out. But we, yeah, that's what I mean. You can get him below. We'll, we'll accept it so we don't risk negotiating, then it doesn't. He's on 10K less. Sure, he's going to have a signing bonus, a million. Yeah, that million, it's going to take a lot out of the transfer budget, isn't it? <laughs> not actually. Uh, accept, let's go. Pretty happy with that deal, straightforward. I think we got, he's happy for lowering his wage. I don't think I'd have that smirk when, you know, my weekly pay packet has decreased. But it's so much anyway. That's a big amount. You're not going to be complaining. <laughs> Let's move on. Oh, Man United, your contribution. What are they saying after that? Just want to thank you for the club reaching significant brand exposure. Target. Whew. That was directly after that signing, so it had to play a part. So, yeah, take a look at that. Get a streak of seven games without defeat in home. Yeah, home matches this season. We got nine out of seven, so... Brand exposure done nicely. Yeah, within two seasons, signed three of the best players in the world overall. Again, I think that needs to be higher. There's so many players that are like 82 and 83, and you wouldn't put them in the bracket of best players in the world. Let me know what you think. But either way, we're doing what the board wants. 83 current manager rating. 
<laughs> See, look at our money. We still got so much to spend. And in terms of having a lot of money and making a very big signing, I could say another thing. It almost gives it away. You're going to see it next, probably. To bring someone back to Manchester, you know now, don't you? There's only one big signing to bring back to Manchester United. No, go back, back. Why you got Lindelof? You tried, mate. He tried to get back into United. This is the man we speak of. Cristiano. Cristiano Ronaldo back to United. His contract is expiring. So, the thing is, like, how long is he going to play? How long is Ronaldo going to play? I don't want to wait another season to sign Ronaldo. The fact we can get him on a cheap fee. That we can get him... Well, let's find out. Let's take a look. He's still... Well, take a look at his attributes specifically. He... You know, he's still really... His sprint speed's still 91. So he's not like a... He's not a slow Ronaldo anymore. He's not like... Nothing like that. He's still going to be impressive. And see, that means because his contract is running out, we, we could get him for a 50 mil. We can get Cristiano Ronaldo for a lazy 50 million. Ronaldo signed for only 50 million. Could that be the case? So we're going to offer a transfer fee here. Let's go. Let's go that to that magical number. 50 mil. 50 mil. It's actually currently below his value. Slightly, by 500k. So I'm thinking maybe actually... Oh, let's just see. It's a reasonable offer for Ronaldo. Yeah, I'm going to take that. We're going to take that and dip 50 mil for Ronaldo. Again, it was slightly below. But we're going to take that. We're not going to complain whatsoever. Let's go and tie him up on the contract now. Yeah, show... We're going to show we really mean business, but it's going to be, it's going to mean something big for jumper numbers. Obviously, we know you can't go past CR7. That's too close to home. If he was coming back, that's what he'd be. So let's go into it. Five, he's 36. Well, I don't even know. He probably wouldn't accept a two-year deal until he's 30. I reckon that's safe. Let's see what man thinks. Let's see. Yep, I was just trying to weigh up. I didn't want one year, because then I think he might retire. Don't know. Two year, 36. Seems all right. Then we'll disregard, yeah, disregard the release clause. And now the wage is going to be an interesting one. <laughs> 10 million. Uh, 140? Nah, he's still 91 overall. 150 with a signing bonus. Oh, again, at 91. Of 900k. I just want to make sure. It's still below, you know. See what I mean? Wow. We want to tie him down again. Our, our money's got... We got nothing to worry about whatsoever. So we're going to just go accept that deal. He's still 91. He's still seen as one of the best players in the game. So career mode, yeah, you know, they register. This is going to be like a really tough deal to get. So we're going to get him. Yeah, got to get him on that. Cristiano Ronaldo. Compared to previous years, to be fair, you probably have him on more. So, no, nah, that's all right. That's all right. Getting the main man, get the main man back to Manchester United. Yeah, it really has to be done. Ronaldo 7, Jadon Sancho. It doesn't mean, oh, Jadon Sancho, he's going to go to a different number now. We don't like it. It's, it's because it's CR7. It needs to be that way. Just giving Jadon Sancho the 12 now. We've got a pretty strong, you know, first 11. So, yeah. You know, we brought Ronaldo back. So, that had to be done. Your question might be, where does Ronaldo fit into the team? Or, you know, who is going to drop out? But this is exactly what I said we needed to have that pure success. Uh, Champions League, have someone to come on that is absolutely amazing. Uh, we're going to probably just drop out James for now. See what I mean? The difference in that substitute there. He's going to come in for Rashford, though. Ronaldo, what we can do... Oh, what we can do is... He's going to be... It's annoying. It's annoying because he's got left wing in his positions. It, 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 he shouldn't be going down. You switch over Martial. Martial. He doesn't, but he's he's only plus one. That might be. Well, everyone else is plus one. Maguire's plus two. Okay, that might need to be the setup for the season. Let me know your guys' thoughts. And after those couple signings, I still have about 180 million to spend. I can't help but laugh at that, man. Like, we just splashed a big bag on a couple of players, and we've still got plenty to spend. 
And how fitting, yeah, the first one is against Juventus. So, uh, as you know, we're just going to quick sim through the preseason. We'll just take a look. They got, okay, some interesting players. Transfers, let's quick sim. Let's see, 2-0. <laughs> Ronaldo got subbed. Funny that, but yeah, good result. One player that is suggested, Jack Grealish. I can see he could add depth. He's a winger as well, but he can play centrally at 25 years old, 81 overall. He's not going to improve that much more, honestly, guys. Like, it may be one of those realistic moves, but 81, when you're 25, he's, he may increase one overall, max and two more. I wouldn't say that's good enough. Because, yeah, I did want to scout him, see maybe if he improved a little bit, but... Yeah, he's not going to be that top, top level. If we just take a look, like some of his better attributes here, you might see a centre-back target we have. He just, he for me, isn't game-breaking with 73 finishing. I can picture how he will be in game. Yeah, like he might waste a lot of chances and all that. Yeah, I can see just off his profile. It's nothing against Jack himself, but this kind of player in FIFA for me, how he'd play. When Iataran is literally the same overall, and how much younger is he? He's 19. I think that says it all, to be honest. Also, one of our scouts came back, of course. We're sending him out on three months. I think I may have missed one player. You guys were saying I missed someone who was worth like a million or so. But uh, yeah, we're going to have so many youth players coming through. We're going to get surely more of those. So it's not a huge miss. Somewhere, this is almost just a test. Somewhere where I want to go here, we'll go across... I want to go to Belgium. A lot of quality players. It's like Netherlands as well. Like, as the series goes on, we're going to go to different areas. But we'll try Belgium and, yeah, see who's that going to get for us. And once, guys, again, because he's been added now, Cavani, I wanted to show you, like, you still can't find him in the career mode, as I said, because he was already... I started this already before he was added. Just because he's added doesn't mean he's going to be in an old career mode. You started already. I just wanted, you know, there's no... Po Some people have said you need to search by, like, free agents and all that. Yeah, if you can't find him by searching his name, he's not in the database. I just want to point it out again. Most people understand that he's not. I just have to show it in the video because some people might think he's magically there. So, all right, another one you see me here against Beijing Guan. This should be a nice win here. Uh, I say nice win, probably should be a big win. Uh, and it was it like, sure. Guys, don't tell me why. <laughs> Sims away from home are still strange in FIFA. And then, of course, next against Real Madrid. This will be interesting to see how this one plays out. I'm not really making too many changes. Not a huge deal. We probably won't get an injury. Please don't make an injury now because I said that. I don't... <laughs> yeah, two... Uh, that's tough. That's tough. But again, it's pre-season. Like, I'm not really that concerned. Which is the sake of getting through matches, basically. <laughs> and still making the semis. So, still that money generation coming through as well. And guys, I don't know if this is error or not. Ted and Mengi, he's stuck on the transfer list. I, if I want to loan him out, I'm going to go remove. I click that, right? I don't know how to do that. Like, what is going on? He's still on transfer listed. You go back and out of it and he's still on it. So, I'm clicking A. I promise I am. <laughs> So, I don't know if you guys have any tips. Though, also, we get an offer here for Joel Pereira. It is his time to leave. Oh, okay, yeah, I have to show you that. We did get an offer for Van der Beek. That was a swap deal. It was with Odegaard, but no. Van der Beek's always 100 million. And, yeah, he's a new signing, so we don't want to be selling him. Like He's a yeah new transfer this year to United. But Joel Pereira, yet yeah, we're going to let him go. Uh, we just basically have too many good keepers ahead of him really we got that youngster he's going to be much better than him he's kind of his level now and then much higher potential so then obviously De Gea and Henderson so yeah he just doesn't have a spot in the team to be fair it's interesting there's a po oh oh talk about realism cooler bully no first off we're going to go to Manchester City Talk about realism can <laughs> well maybe they know anyway cooler bully not yet. He's 30, uh, but definitely not to, yeah, definitely not to Man City. Maybe if it was a couple seasons from now, uh, maybe as he starts to decline, but we're going to reject it for the time being. Pogba literally said Real Madrid is his dream move. But of course, we have to negotiate this. Guys, we have to negotiate this. He's 60 million. So we've got to keep in that mind. He's about, what, 40 million off? 40 million off Pogba's value. So for me... That offer is just a little bit below. We've got to try and get a bit extra. 
let's let's find out how much that's going to be though. We could say we don't need to worry about money exactly, which is very very true with the amount we have. But at the same time, I don't want it to be a silly you know a silly offer like I think it is right now. We need a bit more of the transfer fund uh, funds. Uh, the transfer offer be a bit higher. Propose a new transfer fee. I'm going to go 40, because exactly as I say here, that's 60 million value. You know, Pogba he says 99 and a half. Yeah, like I haven't had one. I was considering this much before. So let's let's see how it goes. Yeah. I mean, we got 40 million with it instead of 18. I take that. I was thinking in my mind, maybe we could have got a little bit more. But the fact that, look at the release clause, 76 mil, that's big money uh, for Rodrigo. So, we negotiate. This, I get, it's confusing. Pogba's showing up, but this will come with Rodrigo, I'm pretty sure. And he has like 90 potential as well. So, yeah, another great attacking player uh, to our ranks. So, yeah, here we are. He was, he's 82 at 20 years old. That's really, really good. So the fact that you just have a most sporadic squad role, he's definitely going to play that. Now we're going to have our super subs covered. You know, that's what I was talking about last year. We didn't we didn't have enough. And now, yeah, we've got it. Let's, yeah, time down for five years uh, for a 20-year-old. Hey, he looks, to be, he looks to be good with that. Oh, what a transfer window this is proving to be. I haven't, you know, confirmed it yet. His current wage, that's worrying me. That's worrying me in the slightest because I don't... He's like an 82 overall, but I guess you have to take account to his potential and you don't want to drop him too much or drop it too much. So we're going to go with the flat 100k and then 700. Let's see what he makes of that. At the very least, I always hope we get an offer back so we just know what you want, mate. See, I reckon we could have offered a lower wage, but it's quite less than he's on now. Just offered his current overall. Definitely off his potential. He's going to be requiring more. So, yeah, here, semi-finals against Bayern. Uh, sure, would be nice. Uh, would be nice to get it here. But you just never know. You never know what is going to happen. <laughs> See? <laughs> End up killing Bayern 4-1. Like, look at the goals. Martial. Tony Martial. Smashing him. No nothing new. Nothing new there. And Real Madrid beating Atletico 3-0. Now just Real, yeah, Real need to finalize the deal. Come on, come on. Don't have it one that go through, like, well, yeah, they fail to go through. And Koulibaly obviously rejected that. But but why do I think that's going to happen? It's Pogba's dream move. <laughs> I thought he was going to show up there. It's Pogba's dream move. It has to. He would accept right now. That will be realistic. Pereira to... Oh, oh. See, this still happens to too much. Henderson loan offer, not going to happen. He's still going to rotate with De Gea for this season. We'll reject that. It's a strange one, yeah? He was good, Henderson. I liked him. <laughs> it's so funny you have an upcoming game against Real as well. That it's... Oh, wait. I didn't see it. But I, I, I saw glimmers of letters and words. Let's see. Pogba sold. Yeah. Yeah. See you, Pogba. Yeah, let me know what you think of that. Yeah, 40 million... 40 million plus Rodrigo, who is worth about 60 million, so 100 million. When you think about it, you probably could have got a little bit of more transfer money. But the thing is, you've got to think of Rodrigo's value as well. So it goes either way. So I think we, yeah, we, like, we could have got more in a transfer offer for Pogba himself, but we probably would have had to pay more money than we did for Rodrigo. So it evens itself out. So, yeah, it definitely evens itself out together. And here he is, guys, Rodrigo, right wing, left wing, 20 years old. If we go over to his stats or, yeah, his attributes here, he's got four-star skill moves, which is pretty nice as well. Maybe could train his weak foot, which you can do. You can train both skill moves and weak foot this year, which is absolute madness. Uh, but, yeah, he he's looking the goods. He's looking goods as a, another another play for us long term that is going to be an attacking force. And I don't think for an outgoing player, there could have been a realistic, a more realistic move. <laughs> for someone like Pogba, who said Real Madrid is his dream move. You can't plan in career mode which team you sell a player to. So maybe just in this career mode, it's working out perfect. But now the thing that comes to attention, a big center midfielder for us is gone. So regardless of how happy I'm that with Pogba, 
Iataran, is he ready and set? He's not even good there because of a weird thing with the with the position. He's really unhappy right now, probably because we're not giving him a lot of games. So it's going to be a real interesting fact. Do you drop Bruno to play? And that's, yeah, again, we're going to be yeah using these as center mids and not... I'm thinking a 4-3-3 because that's been suggested. 4-3-3 attack to be specific. So, yeah, these are definitely center mids now. And then you put Martial there, Ronaldo. Those are, yeah, they're going to be left wings and right wings, of course. It's going to be interesting to see how they fit in. You go Iataran, just bring on for Fred. He's still minus seven, but that's because he's really unhappy right now. So... It's going to be an interesting setup. We do need to find someone else. Uh, yeah, essentially just a friendly final here. We're going to simulate quick sim. Iatara on that minus seven C just for this game. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but just for this one, maybe, yeah. Bring McTominay because he's plus two. Bring him on for Iatara in there. So let's see because that Real Madrid team is still quite nice. We can't. We can't lie about that. So quick sim this. Let's see. We win 2-0. And Cristiano back to punish Real Madrid. You got to love it. He's back with United. So that gives us really the maximum money. So that's pretty cool. And what we're going to work on as the final signing, the final signing because we're going to have to have more feedback from you guys. I had Taliso. I actually scouted him before we sold Pogba. I was thinking about him before because he's only 81 overall. It's back to that Grealish situation. He, he's a similar player to the, you know, he, he's on that level. But he's very, very well-rounded though. He's got nice attributes, but I wouldn't say he's that same Pogba level of player. So we, yeah, we're going to get your guys thoughts on where we're going to spend that big money. But Abmakano, he was already suggested, and you can see he's at Hurler Berlin, uh, Hurler Berlin. So we are going to try and snag him over. Yeah, he's only 22, so yeah, he's going to steady, uh, steady increase in his overall. He's another one with around that 90 potential, so he's going to be class. Uh, let's go in. They're going to request about 52 to 71, so it could be a similar negotiation. Could probably get him around that 60 again, so let's go into that. So there, transfer fee. We're going to go... Another one with a 55 million initial bid and see what they make of that. See what they make of that. 22-year-old, um, we know how strong he is. He's going to be real good. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, they make me laugh, don't they? No. Remove. We're not exchanging Mason Greenwood. I'm not ready to be, <laughs> yeah, verbally attacked. <laughs> I, I don't even want to sell Mason Greenwood myself. So, 60 million... Six, that was never, no, that was never what we wanted. 60 million for Deo Oppenacardo. Let's see, this should get, ex no, wow, okay. This, let's counter Salon Cause, remove that. Okay, propose new transfer fee. Let's go at a 65 mil. That's a big offer. I reckon that you look at his value, this offer, I think that should be accepted. There we go. We took negotiation. Definitely the negotiations they made, uh, a couple of them, yeah, we weren't having. Definitely the the swap with Mason Greenwood, no thanks. So now we just need to go in and tie up his contract. So there we go. Rotation, I think he'll be, yeah, he'll be a starter, but Harry Maguire is still going to be an important play. See, Harry Maguire is so different like, he's been actually decent for me. He was so good, the aerial battles. In versus, like, what we think about him in real life, we don't want him at United. Probably, yeah, need him to go. But he's been decent for me. He, he's he's very good aerially in FIFA. So, yeah, give him the five years. He's still quite young. So, yeah, no no trouble with giving him five. And he looks to be happy with that. No release clause. 60. Man, like, for his quality, I don't even want to argue with that. I'm not even going to argue with that. Like, he's going to grow above that. Like, guys, I tell you now, sometime in this career mode, he's going to be requesting me a new contract and probably close to 100k wage, if not more, once he gets to that top eight, like, high 80s overall, <laughs> if not to 90. We'll see if he makes it to that level. Because, yeah, accepting that just means he's going to be a Man United player. Let me know, guys. Leave a big like on the video if you've liked uh, these transfers. In this, it's been quite insane. I'm not going to lie. So Taliso, as I said, he's not a Pogba replacement. I was almost going to get him as another center mid, as another center mid backup. So yeah, I need you guys to get in. Who is going to be the realistic move? It may not be realistic if it's going to need big money. It's going to be one of the best central midfielders in the world. 
that's who it needs to be. So, guys, we're going to leave it there. It's good timing because we already played through the preseason. That's it. So we just got a couple weeks until the league starts, basically. So within that period of time, we can finalize a signing. That will probably be our last signing. And yeah, it would just work out. It would work out really, really well. So, oh, guys, let us know. Let us know. Iatara, do we train him at Centimit? We got to do something. Firstly, we probably got to get him happy. But for now, see, if I switch those two, that's only minus one. So a lot is coming for being seen he's out of position. That is for sure. So we're going to swap it like that just for now so it looks less bad. If Iataran was happy, we get him happy, and he'll only be on pluses in attacking midfielder. So is that just a setup to go with anyway? So see who we've got in center mid now. We've got Fred. Fred's all right. I like him, but he's not that star level. You know what we do with Pogba, like skill. Even though, yeah, four-star skill moves, but he doesn't come with the same strength and stuff. Pogba, yeah, Pogba, like McTominay, he's not that level as well. He's got that more that he's not a goal scorer. He's not the goal scorer on that same level. And you see, who else have we got? Really, really no one. We've got some youths. Guys, just so you know, I'm, I, I hope to get some offers for loan. See, up McCarner. We'll do it now. Just so, just make an initial swap for Maguire. See, Harry Maguire is 85 overall. Very, like, right now, he's better than Open Meccano. Like, you probably wouldn't think that in FIFA. But, like, right now, that's a situation. And maybe, yeah, more, more so in real life as well. <laughs> and then Rodrigo, yeah, he's going to be pushing. He's going to be hard to make the subs bends. Maybe, well, actually thinking about it, uh, now he probably is a bit ahead of James, uh, to be fair. James good with five-star weak foot, to be honest. But see, now we've got that strength. Again, I know the squad is big. Before you get in your comments, all these guys, I'm, I'm trying to sell some and trying to loan out some. So they will happen. Trust me, we'll be loaning out a lot of players, selling a lot of players. This squad will short down. So you let me know where we spend that money, guys. Let me know where we spend the big cash. And as I said, Taliso could be a target as well, but as that additional center midfielder, we need to replace someone really, really strong or an attacking midfielder that goes with Iatar and go. Either one, a really good center mid and a creative center mid, not a defensive minded. Yeah, not one of those. One like a Bruno Fernandes, another Bruno Fernandes type, basically. So Bruno Fernandes, he can go with Iatar and is, and yeah, that creative mid as well. Not like a DM. Yeah, not a DM type. Anyway, we're going to leave it there. You might come with different suggestions you think that's going to fit in, and I'd, I'll take your guys' suggestions on, but we are going to leave it there. Up Meccano takes that number four, and yeah, we have another good centre-back uh, getting a proper number, or a proper centre-back getting the number four. I had to add one more if dig at Phil Jones, I guess. So I'm going to leave it there. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We brought in a lot of players. Hopefully you liked them. I'll catch you guys in the very next episode. <laughs>